As anyone who's seen the Spider-Verse film, or read any of the Spider-Verse comics will already know, there are a LOT of different Spider-Men. And I do mean a lot. All with different pasts, and a lot of cases different powers. True, they usually all have the same base spider powers, but life has augmented a lot of them to give them enhanced spider powers, and even completely new superpowers, which naturally has led to the question, who is the strongest Spider-Man of all? And so in this video, we are going to go over the 5 most powerful Spider-Men in the Spider-Verse. Number 5. Spider-X His real name is Brian Cronfield, and he was a huge fan of Spider-Man, so much so that he did a deal with a demon's minion, named Dwarf, to magically get powers similar to Spider-Man's. And though there are a lot of man-spider versions throughout the Spider-Verse, what makes him so powerful is that he is able to draw on mystic energy to enhance all of his spider abilities to crazy levels. His strength is insanely strong, and he has even lifted over 100 tons, which is one of the heaviest amounts that a Spider-Man has ever lifted. He has organic webbing, acid webbing, extra limbs, has razor sharp fangs, and can project bursts of energy from his mouth, which he calls his version of Hellfire. He is also able to take insane amounts of damage and be fine. He is easily one of the toughest and most durable Spider-Men that there is. Number 4. Kane Now Kane on his own is actually not that strong a Spider-Man, but Kane, when he has the power of the other, is one of the strongest there is. Now, the other is basically a sort of spider god that one Spider-Man at a time can possess, and the main Marvel Universe Spider-Man does briefly have the other's power. In fact, it at one point saves his life, as he's able to kill Morlan, who hunts and devours Spider-Man. But he ultimately rejects the other's power, and it eventually finds its way to Kane, and he ends up as the permanent host, and fully embraces the power the other gives him. And it does give him a lot of extra abilities, as well as enhancing his existing ones, of course. And as the other, Kane has spider stingers that pop out of his arms, much like Wolverine's claws, that also have a spider venom that can be lethal. He can see in the dark, can extend spines from his body to stab enemies, he can control spiders, and when Kane fully calls on the other's powers, he is able to transform into a giant man spider creature with extremely enhanced powers. So enhanced that he's actually able to kill the most powerful of the spider hunting inheritors something that no other Spider-Man in the Spider-Verse was ever able to achieve. And on top of this, Kane is a clone of Spider-Man with some extra abilities because of this, including a healing factor and the Mark of Kane, which is an ability to brand opponents by burning them. He can do this with skin-to-skin -skin contact, and is even able to cut his own hair and beard using this power, without burning himself, but burning the hair off. And his spider sense was at one point so strong that he had a form of precognition and could see events before they occur. Although by the time he's become the other, this ability seems to have gone. And although Kane has actually died a couple of times in the comics, he's also been resurrected a few times. And this is actually because of the other. Now, he's likely not immortal, but being able to return from the grave is a pretty useful ability. So Kane is pretty powerful on the whole and way above your average Spider-Man. Number 3. Ghost Spider not the Spider-Gwen version where she's calling herself Ghost Spider, but the Spider-Man from Earth-11638, although in his universe he's known as the Amazing Spider. And this version of Peter Parker pretty much has the perfect life. His Uncle Ben is still alive, as is Gwen Stacy, and he started his own tech company, which is doing insanely well, being worth billions. And he also has his own Batcave, which is appropriately called The Web. And of course, his suit has a very nice cape on it. Now, as I said, in this world, he's called the Amazing Spider, and he is much, much more powerful than a normal Spider-Man, having defeated Thanos, Annihilus, and even fought and defeated Galactus, single-handedly. And the reason for this is because Uncle Ben and Peter use tech from his company to capture other Spider-Men from other dimensions, and then steal their powers and take them for his own. Because, basically, they're just evil. Or at least Ben seems to be. Peter, on the other hand, does seem to struggle with killing other Spider-Men, but he does it because in his world, he is literally the only hero there is, and so he needs a lot of power in order to protect it. Or at least that's what he tells himself. Anyway, the main Marvel Universe Spider-Man goes there and is about to be drained, but he escapes and manages to get the evil Peter drained instead, which sends evil Peter into a coma. And though his body is still on Earth, it's later revealed that his soul is in hell, being punished for his crimes. And while he is there, he is eventually given the spirit of vengeance that the Ghost Rider has, and is transformed into the Ghost Spider, and escapes hell. 
Now, this means that he has the powers of both Spider-Man and the Ghost Rider, which potentially makes him insanely powerful. The full extent of his abilities aren't revealed, but the Ghost Rider has at times had enormous amounts of power, even being able to square off against the World Breaker version of Hulk in World War Hulk, which is the strongest that the Hulk has ever been. Now, as I say, sadly, the full extent of these ghost powers isn't shown, but he is still one of the most powerful Spider-Men there is, and definitely deserves his place in this list. After all, before he gets the Spirit of Vengeance, he was able to take on Galactus single-handedly, so he's already insanely powerful. And although he has to keep draining Spider-Men to keep this power up, with the power of the Ghost Spider, he's also insanely powerful. So to put it simply, this guy is insanely powerful. Number two, Zombie Spider-Man. This is from the Marvel Zombies comic books, which are a pretty fun read, and I do actually recommend them if you haven't read them. But basically, the zombie apocalypse has occurred, with the Marvel superheroes having been turned into zombies. And since they have superpowers, they kind of won the zombie fight and have eaten the entire population of Earth. Well, almost. A handful of uninfected humans do survive, but essentially, everyone's dead. But some of the zombies kill and eat the Silver Surfer, and in doing so, they get some of his cosmic powers which they later use, combined with some super science, to kill Galactus. And then they eat Galactus, gaining even more cosmic powers. Meaning this Spider-Man has all of his spider powers, is a zombie, so he doesn't age, can't feel pain, and since he's undead, he kinda can't die. And he also has cosmic powers, meaning he has the power to survive in space, to fly, shoot cosmic blasts, can devour entire planets, as well as any and all flesh, and basically has all of Galactus' powers. Now, we don't actually see the full extent of this, which is why he's not in the top spot, but he does have a lot of abilities and can most likely heal people and has telekinesis. And like I say, being a zombie, he's undead, so he's kind of immortal. Or at least he could have lived for all of time. And I say could because he did eventually die in the comics when they decided to take away his Galactus powers through some interdimensional slash time travel nonsense, which as far as I'm concerned, doesn't really explain why he lost his powers. And truth be told, I think it was kind of just bad writing. The first two mini series of the Marvel Zombies were actually brilliant and I really did enjoy them. But after that, it all kind of fell apart. And to put in perspective how powerful he is, he and the other Galactus powered zombies flew through the entire universe and in 50 years devoured it all, meaning they were able to fight off cosmic beings, all armies, and destroy every culture in the entire universe and wipe out all life in the universe. So they're pretty powerful, and debatably this is the most powerful Spider-Man there is. But there is one other who is most likely more powerful, and that is number one, Cosmic Spider-Man. Also known as Captain Universe, this is a version of Peter Parker who is possessed by the Enigma Force. And because of this, he gains a lot of powers. And this basically makes him a god. And his powers include, but are not limited to, insane levels of strength, cosmic blasts, he can fly, he can see through space and time, both backwards and forwards, he can heal the sick, has a healing factor, he can breathe in space, he can alter molecules on a molecular level to transform one thing into something else. He doesn't need to eat or sleep. He can read minds. And he is powerful enough that he can defeat the Hulk, Doctor Doom, and Magneto without even breaking a sweat. Now, the Enigma Force did actually at one point possess the main Marvel Universe Spider-Man. But the Enigma Force soon left him. You see, that's how it works. It travels the universe, inhabiting people who need its power. Then, once the Enigma Force has helped them achieve their impossible task that they were struggling with, it moves on to the next worthy champion. But the Spider-Man of Earth-13 was able to hold on to this Enigma Force and is basically a god with unlimited power. The only real limit is that he can't leave his home dimension or else he loses the power. And the fact that he is powered by pure life force, which wouldn't seem like a drawback, but it's actually what leads to his death at the hands of the Inheritors. The Inheritors are beings who feast on people with spider powers, Specifically, they feast on their life force. And though Cosmic Spider-Man is much too big a meal for most Inheritors, because if they try to eat his power, it would overload them and they'd die, the father of them all, however, is the most powerful one, and as such is able to consume the Cosmic Spider-Man life force and kill him. Which was actually a bit of a shock, and in my opinion, does kind of not do him justice, because he is insanely powerful, and he should have at least put up more of a fight than he did. But despite that, he does have the most power of any Spider-Man. Although, as I say, Zombie Spider-Man does come close with his Galactus power. 
and that is the five most powerful Spider-Men that there are across the Spider-Verse. Do you agree with my list? Or is there another Spider-Man that you think should have been mentioned? And which one of these Spider-Men is your favourite? Personally, I think Zombie Spider-Man is the best, as he has the most interesting story by far. But please let us know your choice in the comments. And I'd just like to say a quick thank you to those who made this video possible by donating to the Needle Mouse Productions page on Patreon. And as always, thanks for watching, and feel free to subscribe, share, like, and comment.